Social media has continued to play a major role in this case as more than 100,000 people shared tips, thoughts, and concerns on this, the Find Gabby Facebook page. In fact, it was a tip from another vlogger that apparently led authorities to Gabby's body. Now, the FBI asked anyone with information to call their hotline, as they usually do, but they also asked hikers you can see here in the Teton National Park area to scour their videos, their pictures, and see if they could find Gabby's 2012 Ford Transit van that passed through any of that footage at any point, and sure enough, it did. In this video, you can see the white van right there where that arrow's pointing, parked and said to be found abandoned two days after Gabby's family lost contact with her. Now, this stood out to the Florida-based vloggers Jen and Kyle Bethune because of the Florida license plates, and it is said to have helped authorities pinpoint their search in that nearly 300,000-acre national park. Thousands now offering their condolences to the family online. And as we just also heard, the lawyer of the now missing 23 year old boyfriend, Brian Laundry, sharing his thoughts in a text message saying the news about Gabby Petito is heartbreaking. The Laundry family prays for Gabby and her family. But we did see a heartbreaking and heartwarming as well tweet from Gabby's father saying, with this photo, Gabby Petito, she touched the world. We're also sending our thoughts and prayers to the family as well. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.